and today I'm going to be talking about the richest man in Babylon with George S. Classen. I'm going to be talking about my favorite parts in this book and characters too. This one is Babylon was like this, a mixture of grandeur and squalor, dazzling wealth and direst poverty crowded together without plan or system within the walls the protecting walls of the city so it's like the world because it's a mixture of grandeur and squalor it's, it's Babylon the next one is the part the second time that Algamish came to Arkad and then he asked what happened to him since last I saw you then he said that he entrusted his savings to Edgar the shield maker and each fourth month he does pay me the rental and Algamish said to him that is good and what do you do with the rental and then Edgar was like do you have a great feast with honey and fine wine and McDonald's. Someday I shall buy me a young Toyota car upon which I will ride on. Uh, yeah, it's probably how it feels like. And then Agamish left. You do eat the children of your savings. Then how do you expect them to work for you? First, get thee an army of golden slaves. And then many a rich banquet may you enjoy without a great. Uh, yeah. This one, the Syrian, as the right name we call man who puts off doing those things that might be good for him. And I like the boy saying, Procrastinator! Yes, let's see, him. let's see. Him. Yeah, that's how it went in my brain. In this one, the slave master was talking to Nomasir, Arkad's son, about his plan of a caravan to the mines of copper. And the first thing that runs in my brain is a mining company. Uin. I like Sira because not only she's a girl, but she asked Dabasir if he had the soul of a slave or the soul of a free man. And he also helped Davasir go back to Babylon. So she's really cool. This is the new slave recruit. Mm hmm. 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 can have this guy as a eunuch. Eunuchs we have plenty. The camel tenders we have few and they are a worthless lot. Even this day, I would visit my sick mother who's sick with the fever and there's no slave I wouldn't trust to lead my camel. As wow. this slave we can lead a camel. Hmm, 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 hmm. Wow. What know you of camel? I can make the meal, I can load them, I can lead them on long trips without tiring. If need be, I can repair their trappings and make them do birthday tricks. Hmm. The slave speaks forward enough. If thou so desire, Sira, take this man for thy camel tender. Take him, take him. Here's the camel pen, and here are the camels. So. I'm a donkey pretending to be a camel. So, camel, 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 camel. I really thank you for uh, making me not a eunuch, but a camel tender. Do you want to hear my story of how I came here? So, here's my story. I am not a, a slave by birth. I am the son of a free man. An honorable saddle maker of Babylon. And then I had a really beautiful wife. And we would spend a lot of time together. 
and money. And we had a lot of purchases and I don't know why. Then I had a lot of debt. And then the businessman started pursuing me to pay them. And then they kicked me out of the house because I couldn't pay. And then that's pretty much why I'm a slave here. Can you call yourself a free man when your weakness brought you to this? If a man is within himself the soul of a slave, will he not become one no matter what his birth, even as water seeks its level? A man, if a man has within him the soul of a free man, will he not become respected and honored in his own city, in spite of his misfortune? They take this in my brain. Thanks. It's Eric Gula breaking Sharon and the slave title. And I really like this part because it's a happy part. Because it really means a lot when you're free. In the freedom. Yeah. In when mommy, they will be free men. <laughs> <laughs> Let's win the European and the American sent excavations to the city ruin of Babylon and then they found clay tablets because paper was not invented that time and then they said that they were permitted an insight to the intimate personal affairs of the people and they also said upon them were engraved legends poetry history transcriptions of royal decrees the laws of the land titles of the property promissory notes and even letters I wonder how intimate it was. Hmm. On this clay tablet, it is engraved. Opportunity is a haughty goddess who wastes no time with those who are unprepared. Such wise wisdom from Babylon. You done with the translations? Yep, I am. Great, because we got some more tablets here from the Excavation translates somewhere doing great. Let's get the first one. Let's see what it says here. Uh -huh. The shaft, rear guard, blade, met netlock, front guard. <gasps> this man Babylon is a great book. It's filled with a lot of wisdom and knowledge. And I like to read it a lot of times. Uh, okay, thanks.